think everyone knows him. He is the auxiliary bishop of Cebu. And he is actually a, uh, he has a doctorate in philosophy at the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross in Rome. And he is, he was head for a very long time of the pastoral planning board of the Archdiocese of Cebu. And now he's back as its chair uh, of the PPB. And he is a sought after mobilist and speaker in the Archdiocese and at the same time in uh, other places of the Philippines. So please help me welcome Most Reverend Dennis C. Villarobon. Mayong hapon niya ng doon na Ang uh, topic ng hatag na ako is uh, spirituality in social media. And I would not look for spirituality specifically in social media. It's rather that spirituality can be found anywhere. And social media is only one place. But you cannot find spirituality if you don't find it within yourself. Because spirituality is a lens that allows you to see the presence of that transcendent. If you are an atheist, we just call it transcendent. If you are a theist, the presence of God in one's life and in the world. And we should insist that social media is part of the world. It is not a world in itself. That's sometimes a problem because we, we sometimes think that social media is the world. And when we are entrapped into it, we find it difficult to get out and to come in contact with reality. Let us remember that Social media is only an alternative reality. It is not reality in itself. So, what is? Let, let me begin with some uh, definition of terms. But I'm not going to define strictly the terms. Let's just try to get the sense of what uh, the terms mean. I don't know how to do that. So I click there. Okay. Okay. Let's begin with the question, what is spirituality? You may have heard the declaration, I'm not, I am spiritual but not religious. No. Uh, in the United States, it is said that when young people get through their confirmation, the sacrament of confirmation, they, uh, they before the confirmation, they go through RCIA, or the Roman Catholic uh, Initiation uh, Instruction. And after that, because they hate that so much, not to be to be given that religious instruction after the confirmation, which is part of the program of their school, they would declare, "I am spiritual, but not religious." And then you also probably have heard over the radio and sometimes read over some posters. The statement, it is not a religion that saves us, but our relationship with God. So these are uh, words that give us an understanding, some, some sense of what spirituality means, or how people understand spirituality nowadays. These days, spirituality is often opposed with religion. I am spiritual, but not religious. Uh, there was an animated movie 
entitled The Prince of Egypt. If you remember that, it was a Disney movie animation, and it was about the, the story of Moses and the, the Pharaoh. Actually, the story about the Ten Commandments, the Exodus. And then one priest came out of the movie and he said, oh, it was a beautiful movie, spiritual, but not religious. So let's try to make sense out of that statement. No? And perhaps towards the end of this presentation, I can give you my take on that particular statement. In general, spirituality is perceived to be one's relationship with God. But, even atheists can claim to have spirituality. Even atheists can claim to have spirituality. And why is that? Because spirituality is not limited to the idea of God. In so far as we are human beings, we can be spiritual in the, in the understanding of the atheists if we get in touch with our inner selves, our subjectivity. So they claim that to be spiritual is to be self-aware, to attain subjectivity, meaning conscious of one's autonomy from others or of one's individuality and uniqueness. And you don't have, you don't need to have an idea of God if you attain that kind of consciousness. In fact, God would not be necessary if we attain uh, an absolute sense of self. Of course, that's a relative term, absolute. I mean, I mean how can you ever claim to be, to be absolutely aware of yourself? How can you be so aware of yourself? So, followers. What would you like to do? This is what I don't like about the PowerPoint presentation. My panion. Did you come on? The New Age Movement, on the other hand, believes the opposite. Somehow the opposite thing. Kinigog uh, mga, kinigang mga movements, atheism, New Age Movement. So I cannot make sense of what they are saying. But lain lain man. Ang usaka grupo, they call themselves atheists, pero in the end, agnostic ready ay, no? Doon ay mga New Age Movement, mga universalists, mga individualists, and so on and so forth. Dagat ang mga ists. So, for many of those who belong to the New Age Movement, they say that spirituality is to attain a consciousness of being one with nature, being one with the world, attaining union with the universal spirit, which is not a personal God, but a soul which unites all things in the universe. Doon na ito ay salida sa sine yan itong mga about five years ago na ang main character o sa kababay na may attain siya o an absolute consciousness. An absolute consciousness. The whole movie was about attaining that full consciousness of being one with the universe. O niya, at the end of the movie, may bang mukun sa inyitagong niya? Nahimo siya na USP. Literally, the movie presented her name sa USP. Ano bang flashcard? Ah, flashcard. Flashcard. Ano ang flashcard ka naman na natong yan? Ano ang mga card ka? I belong to a previous age. Pasayloa. So, not a personal God, but 
but a soul which unites them things in the universe. And then, ayaw mo pagrawala ng kining spirituality, alak namin sa mga seryoso. Ayaw mo pagrawala ng ang, 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 ang spirituality, alak namin sa mga kanang mga wailinaw. Bohemians to play spirituality. Kita sa mga mga Bohemians. Talabang, ang ilang purpose sa kitabuhi is to have as much fun as they could. Because tomorrow you die, therefore you have to eat and drink and be merry today. Those who live in the present by enjoying every moment of it, think that spirituality is the attainment of the desires of one's heart. Since the fulfillment of desire is the attainment of happiness. Nakita ko sa lida na red, R-U-N-D, no? It's also a play, no? And in the movie, there was a character named Angel. An angel is a transvestite, no? Lain lang ng tawag din yung karoon, no? What do you call it? Transsexual. Transsexual? Transgender, sorry again, no? So, then she died of AIDS. She died of AIDS. And at her funeral, people were making a police kanan. Gabi tong mag-sulti ka sa mga mindot ng mga nita po. Eology, eology. People were making eology and they were talking about how angel was such a good person, was such a uh, was such a, a, a person who gave herself totally to life. Now, of course, I do not denigrate that because it's a theology of a person who has died. But looking at the movie, you can sometimes be confused about values. Now, uh, you know. She had AIDS because she was living a risky life. Risky in the sense that she was risking it all. Yeah, for that matter, probably if she was uh, she was doing all kinds of things, she may also have infected others. And yet, that can be spiritualized in the way we look at it. Because indeed, even if from a from a moralistic point of view, that may have been an immoral life, it is still human life, all the same. No? And it is not that we uh, condemn or judge that kind of life. It is a choice that the person has made. And Bohemian spirituality does not make any uh, moralistic statement. It simply affirms human existence the joy of human existence. So in the face of these different, sometimes conflicting notions of spirituality, how are we to conceive of it? Is it pure subjectivity? Or is it dissolving oneself into the universe, the universal spirit? Is it self-discipline, self-control? Or is it Indonesian? Now, I will proceed by affirming what is true in the foregoing descriptions. I'm not going to denigrate atheistic, New Age movement, or Bohemian spirituality, so forth. Because there is something true in each of what has been said in each of these groups. But we also have to make qualifications. We also have to make qualifications in order to come up with a more coherent notion of spirituality. So I say, spirituality is both subjective and intersubjective. Spirituality is not disembodiment, but incarnational. To be in the realm, not separate or isolated from the world. And spiritual, spirituality is not just the fulfillment of desire, 
but also a search for the good. For the good. So let's begin with the first qualification. Spirituality is both subjective and intersubjective. One mode of spirituality calls for the dissolution of individuality, of individual differences, to attain unity with the whole universe. Oh, last guide, no? But it is when we are able to distinguish ourselves from the world that we begin to dominate others and the world around us. Bona, do not take a rupo, do not take a pakit in the guide, kay ato mangun na distinguish o okay, separate ang ato kaugalingon sa uban. So that we say, I am, we human beings are of a superior race. The animals and the plants are lower. That's why they call them lower forms of animals. Oh, I am an animal, but I am a higher form. But we just, we just don't stop there. I am a higher form of animal, but I am more human than some of these animals. And some of you animals there. No? So, mukuanta, mukumpir ta sa atong kaugalingon. Kaya na may uban na mas dagway ang umgoy kay ganato. No? Isa tao yung kaya ng sila. No? So, we make that distinction and when we, when we, when we are too individualistic, when we are too individualistic, we set a stage for competition and conflict. Diba? Fans makai mo ni John Lennon. And um, the word that the, the song, imagine. Imagine. And if you read, if you read the lyrics of the song, sometimes with the as it always happens, we don't actually, we don't usually uh, understand the lyrics, we just listen to the melody. Yeah. Mas dinot man ang melody, we don't listen to the lyrics anymore. Actually, imagine it's all about dissolving all kinds of differences. Dissolving all kinds of differences. Nga, napagay dito nga, imagine if there's no heaven, no bread, no hell, no religion too, no? Yeah, ito lang ang katakatawan. Itong katakatawan, ito si Malay Ta. So, wala takasagot sa ato di kanta. And yet, that is, that there's a point there. We erase all differences in order to attain peace and harmony. And that's what the song is longing for. To create peace and harmony, you dissolve all differences. It is when we are different from each other that competition arises and we inflict pain on each other. Yet, ang tinuray mo nga we cannot actually enter into relationship, we cannot make ourselves open to others if we first did not attain subjectivity, if we first did not attain identity. So that you cannot enter, you cannot call somebody or an other person as a thou or an other if you are not yourself an I. When we become conscious of our individuality, when we assert our autonomy and uniqueness, we are then able to deepen relationships. Only when I'm aware of myself as an I, can I call somebody a thou, and together we become a we, a group. Second, spirituality is not disembodiment, but incarnational. What do you mean by disembodiment? Karatan, ang espiritu kuwaan ang tuglawas, disembodied, wagtangan ang lawas. In other words, we become isolated from each other. We become isolated and separate from the world. That is not what spirituality should be. Kaya ka lang mga tao na walay pakialam, walay labot sa tibuok kalibutan, sa hay ato ng ingon, kabuutan na natin yan. Kabuutan na natin, kasanta, ka 
kasatong na naman wa siya'y kaaway most probably may wa sa na siya'y higala so wala siya'y pakialam wa siya'y labot sa uban nagsigi lang siya'y tampo na kung maglakaw siya daw maglakaw sa panganod murang white lady na wa ka kita sa mga tao na naa sa iyong gilid o sa iyong tulangan these embodied spirits But that is not a genuine spirituality because you actually lose your humanity there because we, we actually gain our humanity from our contact with others you cannot call yourself virtuous if you have not associated with people tingali buutan kayo ang isa katao na nagpuyo sa isa ka isla na huwag kauban Why not in Kauban, siya rin yung usap. Buutan kayo, wala yung kanao. Pero, our virtue can only be tested when we are associating with others. Na na yung mga taong pagdumon. O ito na sa seminaryo, ingon tayo ng mga ubang na mga formators. Pagkawasan ng bataan, kay kailangan ng sanok din yung seminaryo. Hasta pare, na yung mga naman siya, mga pare, mga dati sa ating seminaryo. But actually, ang mga sabukan sa seminaryo mo ay nakapabuutan sa tinuray ng utan. Di ba, sisters? No? Di ba, sa community sa mga sisters mo, di ba, what's that name, no? Nga, naagi mga sisters na, Lison, Lison, ikapuyo. May pa mag-buhin niyo. sa among kumbinto na ang bilima ka pare, lima ni pare, pero nasa ito kay Hiro. Mas dito't magkul na pakisamahan ang Hiro sa lima ka pare. Ay, mga nagkakap ito, nagkakasama ka. Anyway, but that's how we train ourselves. We become more human by engaging with people of different moods, different characters. So that spirituality is actually being embedded in the world and having a world. Anak ng murag, walay kalibutan. In the past, men and women flee the world and isolate themselves from the human community. They impose themselves extreme, upon themselves, extreme forms of penance. Na original na mga mga mungi, or not mungi, they were hermits. And there were hermits who would stay inside a tomb. Extreme forms of penance, no? Kunya, pag kuha lang sila, buta ka ng tubo, ang tomb, at this is real, ha? Buta ka ng tubo, ang tomb, at ito ay pag-agi ang tubig. Moral ring lang in nun, they are doing all kinds of penance. Actually, nakapag-resyo to suba ng mga ganang magsita, buta ang tubig, ngayon siya makainom, no? kung mag-umungi, mag-iika, mag-iimitan yung kaayong mag-sanog sa uban. Nasa yung uban nga, there was one home nga, na ay pilar, pilar, and then he stood there in front with just, on top with just one leg, balancing, at meditating. Why is it big? I mean, disembodied, walay kalabutan at kalibutan. But, Eventually, this kind of life, this form of life, of being a hermit with extreme um, forms of penance, died out. Nawakas yan. Na naman, napuli ang monastic communities. Na giling mga mungi, eventually, ang mga pangalimitanyo, eventually, they came together and banded themselves and then they formed communities. Because it is more natural and it is more humanizing and I would say more spiritual to be with other people. Number three, spirituality is not a fulfillment of every desire, but the search, but the search for the good, which is the object of desire. A young man once asked me, why does God create a desire which cannot be fulfilled? Natulala ko sa pagpamutanan niya. Why does God create a desire?
desire which cannot be fulfilled. And be careful of this question because this question is very loaded and it's actually part of the uh, agenda of the LGBTQ. Na, nanong ato man ang pugnan ang gihimo sa Diyos na desire kay siya man at naghimo sa maong uh, maong uh, desire. I think the question is based on a false assumption. It assumes that God creates desires. God does not create desires. Otherwise, kanang desires sa psychopath, kanang desires sa sex minya, ang ginoon ni Himoniana. No, God does not create desires. What God creates are goods. Mga butang, manindot, maayo, delectable, lamig, pugnindot. And for that matter, that covers all things. Because God created everything to be good. Everything that God has created is desirable. Because everything that He created is good. Now, good is the cause of desire. Kung tunay maayo niya, it becomes desirable. Atong tinguha mo. And, but not every desire is good. Not every desire is good. Goodness flows from the nature of the thing. Nalo maayaw na siya, nalo nindot man na siya, kaya ang iyang pagkasiya, ang pagbuhat sa Diyos niya na sa iyang pagkasiya, nindot na na siya ka. Yun mo, nakalala yung titid, hindi man na siya nindot. Kung makakita ang titid, mo, 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 lipawag mo na itong balibo. Ang uban, kung na uban, ang gagag bitin. Kaya may uban, ang gagag buhiro, bitin. Diba? And for the matter, the, the snake has a purpose. Ang kanalagin ok ok. Kung agay ka nga nga ok ok. Uy, ato mo sa'yo na. Kinilo ang ok ok. Balik ya. Kay, na ay, na ay scorpion, na ay tanga, na ay ok ok. O mga abator na ilang ibalik ya, murang tumating. Totoo nila. So these things are desirable according to certain tastes. And nothing created by God is actually undesirable. Everything that God has created is good. And good is the cause of desire, but not every desire is good. Goodness flows from the nature of a thing, and therefore, when a desire subverts the nature of a thing, kanang iniisya pero kanangan ka pero kanang ang imong kanan ang imong tiguha makapagkuma sa kinaiya sa maong butang, then it is not a good desire, and it does not need to be fulfilled. Kanang buwak niya, hindi ko kayo tanawa. Imong tinguha, hindi ko kayo ako ng pupukol. Ay, ng pupukol ni mo, pagkaumahan na, guba na ang buwak. Pero kung imo ba itong ipasakta, dihanan ito siya, ulungtan mo ito ko sa kabuhay. Because sometimes our desire go beyond the nature of the thing. Go beyond what is proper. And that is why it can distort that particular nature or it can distort the relationship between you and that thing or that person. Spirituality 